Sports. Meanwhile, clean ice behind us, set for the ladies free skate. It's wide open. Ashley Wagner came in as the headliner, no question, but needs a comeback now, Terry. She does, Terry, but it's not about a win or a medal for Ashley here. She needs to prove to herself that she's a fighter. She says she's a fighter, but she needs to prove it to herself. This might be her last skate if she doesn't make it to the Grand Prix final before nationals. And leading into the national championships, many thought Ashley Wagner definite leading lady. But with that short program, she's put all of that into doubt. The other Americans, Karen Chen, the U.S. champ, has struggled very low in the standings going into the free skate. How about the top American? A surprise, Brady Tunnell. Brady, she did so well in the short program. Consistency is her calling card. But now that all the attention, all the eyes on her, I sort of wonder how she'll be able to handle that pressure. And hopefully that doesn't affect her consistency. You picked her to win the Olympics, right? No, I did not. Don't <laughs> no, make the Olympics. Tara's a fan. Not I, yet. I so. Not yet, Brady. <laughs> Who else do we have here, John, though? Well, certainly Satoko Miyahara currently leading the ladies in first place for reason, world silver medalist. But I'm looking at Polina Tsurskaya from Russia sitting down in eighth. The ladies are separated by a little over seven points from first to eighth. Two skaters from Japan at the top of the standings and then a skater from Canada. The Americans a little farther down the list, but Brady Tunnell and the top short programs, they are worth a look. And we start with Brady from last night.